but it's another beautiful day up here on the northeast coast. Half a day off work, so a couple of hours relaxation down on the beach. Here's the dragons of the uh, recent rain we've had. I've been out to sea. We've had very, very blowy weather. And if I zoom in a touch, you'll see again the beach has been dropped down at the bottom of a slope near the water and the top of the beach all scoured out well pretty well scoured out i've just dug over there behind that, that standing tree that's well fallen over tree that's been washed down the coast we've got the gold python 1000 patent pending running down the stream. I'm still working out how to do it at the right speed and the right volume of water. And I'm thinking that pretty slow is what I need because I think the size of these riffles mean that it clears out pretty quickly. The, these little riffles aren't very deep, so they get full of magnetite pretty quickly, or the black sands pretty quickly, and then you get this snake of sand just trickling along the bottom. So, see that? So I think the idea is slow and steady wins the day. So it's a scoop and let it run. A scoop and let it run and so on. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Well, this is the view with some bits of gold at the top, as you can see, and the blocking stone at the top. As soon as we take that out, slowly, you can't see anything. As soon as you stop it down, there they are, shining away. They seem to pick up better on the video than they do with my eyes which tells you a lot about my eyes. Well, here's the hole that I've just started pulling some sand out of. See, it's about, it's about as deep as, as the trowel. But when you get down there, that's, that's pretty black sand, that's. So I'm just gonna finish the bucket I'm doing up at the sluice. Then I'll come back and I'll grab this, and that'll be our next run through. But you can see down there, it's pretty good quality stuff. Whereas up here, look at that, that's, that's all blonde. It's got the odd line of black in it, but not a patch on that. So we'll come back and get that in a bit. Great thing about this site is you can just come along here. It's not too far from the house. I can just do an hour or two and then get back to what I was doing and great views down the coast well I've got half a bucket there and just to show you um, there's the top of the sand there, the beach there's all the stuff I've just chucked out you go down the hole, there's a black layer about 8, eight inches thick and then, all of a sudden, you're right back down into the golden sands. So there's clearly been a significant phase of deposition of the black sands um, on top of a just a normal beach at some time in the past. Why it's changed, I don't know. Probably a huge storm event, but I bet that was quite a few decades ago, that. Because uh, this end of the beach doesn't get moved that much, I don't reckon. Okay, that's the end of the, the first full bucket done and uh, the remnants of the, the landing plate, I'm slowly worming the way down the length of the pipe. Uh, I sort of think of this as a slug, this last little bit, because it sort of moves down like a slug would going over your lawn, um, very slowly and the back 
jumps over to the front and then the back jumps over to the front of that and so on and so on um, so that's pretty much cleared now I just thought I'd show you what's on the beach quite a dark limestone with fossils in there which I think are the crinoid uh, the top of the crinoids uh, rather than a coral as such then a lot of the limestone has got veining in it don't think that's where the gold's coming from a lot of this stuff because in years gone by they've burnt the limestone to make fertilizer for the fields I think some beautiful dark purple sandstone that's probably come down the coast from St Abs or somewhere and then you've got all these bits of quartz I mean that yeah. That's, that's where the black sand's coming from, presumably, originally. Um, I'm sure it's been deposited here by a glacier because it's all well sorted onto the beach and then sorted again. But clearly there's bigger bits coming down here as well. Looks like the sort of stuff you'd find up in Southern Uplands, maybe, Menach. Some of it's got a bit of a, a colour to it. Maybe that's come down from... Uh, by the white adder and you've got lumps of what look like granite it's quite hard stuff and then lastly I'm going to take this one home and give it a good pelt in because I wonder if that's um, got something inside it like an argate or something because I did find a bit of argate last time I was here anyway We'll smack it in half and see what's in there. Well, that is all the cons I've got from, I think it was, what, about three half buckets? A half bucket is bleeding heavy, I'll tell you as well. <clears throat> you don't want to be carrying a full bucket of this stuff um, if you like your back. Uh, so, lessons learned. I think... I want to know if I'm losing gold out the bottom of this this drain pipe and I think the only way I'm going to find out really is if I stick um, my dream mat underneath the end of it for a session and see what the dream mat picks up from the far end. Um, what other lessons have I learned? Fill your hole in, that's the other one. So I'm going to fill the hole in now. Um, but I've marked it with a stick, so next time I come, if the sea hasn't washed it all away, if there's no spring tide before my next visit, or if there's no major storm, I might be able to find it, you never know. So there's my stick. Oh, um, I think I told you, didn't I? There's, um, <laughs> there's golden, sun, golden sands underneath that black, so it does come in layers, big chunky layers. So we'll just fill that in a bit, just so nobody trips up, there we go, it's got a stick on it, might find it, you never know, probably not, a bit hopeful. Other lessons learned, um, I think that's it, we'll, uh, we'll go and pan it up shall we, and see what we've got. Okay, well, I've, I've panned it out, and here is the sum total of, of gold. Let's get a bit of macro on there, shall we? Or maybe, maybe not. Um, it's hard to tell with this light, but um, that bigger piece... There is a bigger piece in there, if you believe me. Where's it gone? Can't see it. But um, th there was a bigger piece on the on the gutter sluice, the gold pipe from one thousand, and um, 
it wasn't there when I panned it out. So I reckon I'm, I'm losing gold fluttering down that drain pipe. Uh, there is a slightly bigger piece in here somewhere. Uh, but it was already in my in my vial from a previous trip. So um, the still picture that I showed you is the is the bucket and the half a uh, couple of buckets worth from today. And uh, this is what I've got off the last few trips. So anyway, we'll we'll take the dream map down next time. Thanks for watching.